Hello and welcome back to our series on how to sell subscriptions with WordPress and the Billflow plugin. So far we've learned about how to set up the Billflow plugin and how to set up custom roles. In this video we're going to learn how to actually gate content and how to do that based on user roles as well. So let's jump into it. Once you've set up the plugin and you've embedded a billing page, then you can actually gate any post or any page just with a single short code. So these right here, as you can see on the screen, are, are specific short codes that are going to allow you to gate content for specific scenarios. So for example, the first one says, gate any page to logged out users only. So this would be, for example, a pricing page that you have within your app, using this short code would only make the pricing page visible to users who are logged out. Because if a user is already paying and is a subscriber to your service, then they wouldn't really need to see the pricing page. Instead, they would want to see their customer portal. So this would be the short code that you would paste onto the page for that. You could even gate pages to logged in users only. So let's say that you have an article on whatever it is that you're teaching, but you only want it to be visible to users who have created an account. You would add this short code to the top of the page. So it says billflow logged in only equals true. You can even gate pages by roles. And in order to do that, you would use this short code. If you have more than one role, you would just separate them by commas. So here we have subscriber and contributor. If we use our last example, we could actually use basic subscriber and pro subscriber. And finally, for the customer portal, you can add this short code to only have it be visible to a logged in user. Now that covers all of the short codes that we provide for you. These are all within our documents. That's going to be linked in the description below. But what if you wanted to gate by category? Then in that case, we would actually want to add another plugin. So for that, we are going to say add new and we're going to search for user restrict access. And here we see that the first block that we see is user restrict access membership plugin with force. It's free. Um, all you have to do is install and activate. As you can see, I have already done that. So we're going to go to the plugin. And within this, we would actually be able to add new access levels. And you can do that by page, by post, by category, by tags, anything that you want. This would allow you to get your content on a larger scale. So let's test it out. We're going to say add new. We are going to add a new condition group. So let's say, since we already know how, how to gate pages and posts, let's do categories instead. And I don't think I have any categories, but let's pretend like this uncategorized category is a, an actual category. You are going to select the category that you want to gate. And, you know, you can actually combine different conditions. So you could do categories of this with pages or, or authors of so-and-so, you know, so like me, for example, um, would only be visible to pro subscribers. And the capabilities we are going to allow for are that they can read. I'm going to call this pro subscriber access. Save it go back to our dashboard and there we have it. Now we know the pages that our pro subscribers have access to. So there's 
one more missing piece to all of this, and it's the Stripe webhooks. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Stripe webhooks, which is going to communicate with your app to see when an event occurs, such as a failed payment, a user upgrading or downgrading their subscription, and so on and so forth. All right, I will see you all in the next video.